everyone and welcome for today's video. In today's video project I was challenged by Christina Welsh. You might know her for sure because her channel is three times as large as mine. And as a Pori fanatic I'm pretty sure you know her already. If you don't, I really recommend you head over to her channel and subscribe to her as well because she has some awesome projects there. And Christina challenged me to make something she calls a Boilermaker pour, which I had no idea what this was about. And I will need something like this for it. This is just a shot glass. It is really glass, so the bottom is really massive and heavy. And the trick behind it is you make something like a negative space pour with your cup and put this into there. So I never tried something even remotely close to it. And I really can't wait to see which result I'm going to get. But before we head over experimenting with this one, I need to go into Zen mode mixing my colors. So see you in a bit. And we are already mixing. So the colors that I'm going to use are the ones that Artisa was the sweet to send me. This is the box with 14 different acrylic colors. This is what they look from the inside. And those are the colors that the box contains. So put this this direction. And what I've used here is the white and a bit of the yellow ochre to make it more cream. This is the Taylor Blue, which is a really great color. <coughs> they are gold, they are burnt sienna, they are burnt umber and this is yellow ochre. And while I was mixing I was deciding to make two pours. Because one, in case one pour fail, I can pretend it was intended. <laughs> Second, I want to start off with a smaller canvas because to test things out and I go with my most favorite color palette which is the blue, the gold and cream this time. I think you might have guessed this color palette already. And the second pour is going to be on this canvas which is as you can see a reused one. This was the one which I did with the cup tool, so a complete disaster. I already tried to pour something over it which also failed, so it can only go better. <laughs> Let's see where the road takes us. And my background color is going to be the phthalo blue. So I'm going to add the gold and the cream into this little shot glass. So it's even smaller than the one that I'm going to use for the next pour. So it doesn't really contain much paint. And I'm also using a smaller cup, which is totally sweet because it's minions. Yay! <laughs> so let's see how this works. So all the colors that I'm mixing here contain some silicone oil, except for the base colors. So those don't have any silicone. So this cup is full already. Then let's put some of the blue into the base layer cup. <laughs> let's keep the rest in here. And then she practically just put it in there, let it drown. It's gone. <laughs> so then we flip it. And I'm going to put the rest of the paint around here just to help it flow a bit. Okay, let's dip blue out first. That's what she did as well. And then the shot glass is still standing here, which is great. <laughs> to move this a bit around. It's much paint, so as usual I'm having probably too much paint again. <laughs> but let's see.
So let's see what happens when I torch it. So pretty much like the result of here, but I'm not sure if this looks great because there is so much blue down there. Going to try to tilt it a bit more, but not sure if this works so great. No, probably don't. So I will see what this looks like when it's dry. I think it looks like a continent or something, so pretty sweet already. And can't wait to see what the next result brings. <laughs> and the same game with the second one. I'm really really curious how this one turns out. This one is too large, I'm going to cut this a bit shorter. So it's not completely even, so I'm pretty sure paint is going to flow out, but I think I will live with it. This in here. And <laughs> it's going to flow over, damn it. And then let's make it quick. Okay, let's see where this takes us. I must say I'm a little impressed how little of the yeah, cream paint did survive the pour. It was way more than the other paints, but they completely overpowered it. So this is something I really did not see coming. But let's see what a little bit of heat can do for us here. Well, what do you think? It's a really unusual color palette for me, for sure, you know that. And the technique is really cool, it makes super fun, so you should try this for sure. The result itself, I probably would have loved to have more of the cream around it to make it look more like negative space. Um, I really like the color palette though, it really looks earthy and calm. This looks like India, so perhaps screenshot from Earth again in a different color scheme, I don't know. Make up your mind what you think about it. I will of course show you both results when they are dry, so that you can see the final result and final colors. And yeah, Christina, I really hope this was fun for you watching as well. And of course, you're getting a challenge as well, which will be making a pour with my three cup tool. So build yourself one if you haven't already and let me know, let us know what you made out of it and what your pour looks like. You can also scale it up for four or five cups, whatever you're up for, and I can't wait to see your results. Again everyone, if you haven't checked out Christina's channel yet, make sure you head over there. I will link it down below in the video description. And of course, make sure you try this technique as well, because it's really fun to do. Something really unexpected when it comes to the results. I look forward to see, especially the blue one, how it looks when it's dry. And yeah, I see you in a second when this is dry. Of course, you don't have to wait as long as I have to. So I will just cut this and yeah, make the final result 
after this video. And here we go with the final result. First of all, I have to say that the Aretiza paints are really, really great to work with. They actually worked as great as the Aretina paints that I yeah, regularly use. And if you don't have access to them, especially when you are in the US, these Aretiza paints are just as good. The gold is really vibrant and when the sunlight hits it, I unfortunately did not have sunlight when I filmed the final result parts, it enlightens as much as the Artina paints did as well in so many other videos that you have seen already. The Phthalo Blue is really great when it comes to color depth, so it's the yeah, same color depth that I had on my other paints. So I can really really recommend them and for those who want to have a look at them I have linked them down in my video description as well. And this is especially linked for the German Amazon so if you are in the US you can just look it up on your Amazon and you are pretty good to get them there as well. So in the right version I really like the blue one. I was unsure about the second one which was the brown and gold and yeah, the brownish color one. So I pretty much like some of the areas where some of the cells has this golden shimmer and light up when the sunlight hits it. Overall, I think it's not as entertaining to look at. So I put this up for a majority vote again. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if I shall keep it, if anyone would want to have it or if I shall pour something other over it. So technique wise, it was really fun to do, but the result is I don't know. Let me know what you think. Oh, hi. You watched till the end? <laughs> How sweet of you. So, as says more, thank you for watching until the end. I'm going to make a bonus pour with the rest amount of paint that I'm still having here. Nothing as fancy as the Boilermaker. <laughs> but just a regular flip cup this time. So look at this. This is another pouring cup that I just let dry. It really looks pretty from the inside. You might not see it in that well in the camera. But anyways, I just scraped up all the drip over paints that I had from my previous pours, which is this kind of color here. It's pretty, pretty blue-gray perhaps. Luckily the Taylor Blue just overpowers a bit, so it's still kind of blue, otherwise it would have been more like on the grayish side. So this is nice. And then just going to add all the rest amount of colors into my pouring cup here, because I also missed using the green in the last one. Did you notice? I didn't even notice until it was too late. <laughs> so going to add just the colors here. And this color palette though is pretty, pretty much really uncommon. So never tried using these colors with the blue before. Let's fill this up with some more green. It might be ugly though. Okay, all these colors do contain silicone. This one does contain some silicone now as well because it was the drip off. We will see. I don't have too high expectations though. <laughs>
dream for those who love cells. <laughs> so let's see how this one tries as well. I show you in the very end as well how this one looks. And yeah, we will see. Hope you like this one as well. Bye bye. And of course, if you like this video, this technique or this experiment, just let me know in the comments as usual. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have not done so far, please make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out any of my new coming videos. You can also click the bell icon to get notifications. And I will also link some other videos in this video. You might have seen it already with the cards in the upper corner of some of my results that I think are worth having a look at. So look around, there are only 250 videos already with some pretty sweet results on there. So thank you for your time, thank you for watching and other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day, bye bye!